Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Eric Moore with the Fishers Fire Department. In this segment today, we're going to talk about breaching the sleeper from the rear. If we're unable to gain access to the cab or the side of the sleeper, we can come to the rear of the sleeper after the frame has been stabilized and breach the sleeper from there. We can simply bring a backboard in, lay it across the frame, and give the rescuer a work platform. In the last segment, we talked about reconning the sleeper, making sure the sleeper is clear of other patients. We also need to recon and find out where upholstery, speakers, and appliances are. Certain trucks, you can see the rivets and see where support is. A lot of them are smooth fiberglass. We're unable to do that. That's why it's important that we recon and steer the Sawzall around these obstacles. As we've seen in the last segment, the cab sleeper has been reconned. We know it's clear. Now we're utilizing the chisel to make purchase points instead of using a halligan and sledgehammer, reducing the amount of movement on the cab. Now we bring in the sawzall and cut the sheet metal. Remember, recon is inside the cab and directing. It's going to be a little bit tougher being on the rear of the cab. We still need to have recon in there, make sure we're not hitting a patient. The sheet metal should not give us too much trouble to cut through. We have supports, we can also cut through the saw saw. The problem is the upholstery. The upholstery gets in the way, the mattress will bind up our saw saw blade. We have to make sure we're clear of that. As you can see, we've made a hole big enough for rescuers to gain entry or to remove patients. Remember to cover your sharps with tarps off your trucks or remove an upholstery or blankets from the sleeper cab. I'm Eric Moore, and thank you for watching Fire Engineers Training Minutes, and thank you to Omatro.